We're here in the weighing room at York. Obvious question, why is nutrition such a key thing for, for jockeys? Um, because remember, jockeys are weight-making athletes. So just like we consider professional boxers or professional mixed martial artists, um, professional athletes, jockeys are exactly the same. They need to make weight, they need to perform at a high level, and nutrition is a key component of that. And what's the danger of poor nutrition? Um, there's a range. Um, so we, there's a range of uh, evidence that suggests low energy availability, negatively impacts um, health and physiology, mental well-being, and not to mention riding performance. Mm. And where do racehorses come into that? Uh, by providing good nutrition that facilitates weight making, health and riding performance. So we're talking um, proteins rich, uh, foods rich in protein, um, moderate carbohydrate, um, allows jockeys to be hydrated um, and well fueled. What do you think you and your members are going to make of these new guidelines? Well, uh, we've come a long way, David, in a very short space of time, to be perfectly honest. A uh, number of the race courses have really upped their game the last couple of years with uh, food provision. There's still half a dozen out there who, uh, who probably need to look at what they're providing for, for, for the jockey athlete. We've got a massive increase again in, uh, in their workload with more evening fixtures this year, 30 more evening fixtures. So looking after the jockey come race day is becoming more and more important. And how aware do you think jockeys are of how important nutrition is to, to their, their, daily, their daily routine? Um, I think it's improved the last two or three years, particularly with um, some of the work that's gone on through Dan Martin and, and Liverpool John Moores University. Some of the research has been fantastic to see. And when you look at the likes of Jim Crowley and PJ McDonald, who were former successful national hunt riders who switched codes, along with Graham Lee, of course, um, they managed to lose weight, maintain their weight through uh, diet and exercise plans and three very, um, very good examples of what can be done with a little bit of thought and effort. But um, the effort also has to come from the race course as well. Gone are the days when it was just a case of uh, never mind the jockey, they don't have to eat. You know, jockeys have to refuel. We've seen um, the, uh, the recent examples of, of, of jockeys being on the go for 16, 17, 18 hours a day. And it's important that uh, you put the right thing in. A bit like a car, David. You can't drive 300 miles unless you fuel it up. You're responsible for the catering across arena race courses. What do you think about what you've heard about jockey and nutrition? Uh, David, I think the, the information and the session that we've had this morning has been really informative and it, um, it showcases the need, I think, for continued education around the whole nutritional piece and what we can do as racecourse caterers and, and service providers to ensure that the information that we give within the weighing room as jockey's food provision is informative, um, but we shouldn't overlook the fundamental essentials of presenting it well. Um, and making sure that the people that are looking after those jockeys are engaging and informative in the delivery piece.